Hello everyone, I'm Gary Hibner and I'll be taking you through an introduction to Reaper. Reaper is a DAW, otherwise known as a digital audio workstation. From recording your audio, programming MIDI tracks, all the way through to editing, mixing and exporting your audio material. I'll be taking you through a step-by-step -step guide, through the different menus and features available. So it doesn't matter if you're a novice or an advanced user in the audio production field. The software is Mac and PC compatible, so there won't be any PC or Mac debates here. I'll be using my Mac to demonstrate Reaper in this series of videos, but if you're using a PC, don't worry. I'll make sure to mention the difference between the PC and Mac functions. I've used many of the other DAWs for my own productions and find that each DAW has its own set of advantages. There are three things I like about this one. It's well priced for such a capable DAW. It's very flexible with workflows and production needs and it's hugely customizable. What caught my attention when I first started investigating this piece of software was their website headline tag, audio production without limits. I was very interested to find out what this really meant and what it could do for music production. I found after quite a bit of usage that Reaper is a very open DAW. It allows you to customize, modify, and alter many of its menus, windows, and settings. I like not being stuck to a specific way of doing things, so this way it was already impressing me. But let's first start from the beginning. In this series, I'll be taking you through the ins and outs of Reaper, from the installation and setup, all the way through to creating and editing tracks. Through these videos, you'll see what Reaper is capable of. You ready? I'll catch you in the next video where we'll get started with the download and installation process.